So the first wine we have today is 2016 Grenache Chromatic, which is from the Gray's Vineyard in Dallasport, planted in late 60s, early 70s, one of the oldest vineyards, if not the oldest vineyard in, in the gorge. Uh, it's Grenache Achromatic, so white fruit forward wine that we made from the red grape Grenache. In this case, we'd had very little skin exposure, but just enough to pull out a lot of the aromatic precursors and aromas that you'd like to get out of Grenache. That's why it makes such a great rosé varietal. And once in the bottle, now pops with a lot of pineapple and papaya. And as a result, we pair it with a little bit of dried pineapple and papaya. What I recommend for most folks in a pairing, food pairing tasting is to taste the wine first and that taste the, uh, the pairing, the food pairing, and then go back to the wine. We like the wines to stand alone by themselves, obviously, but in this case, uh, it doesn't hurt to pair with foods, and oftentimes it, it, it doubles or triples your experience. Wow. And you have, this is what you do after hours. You, you sit around and drink sip wine and pair things. And it's a very hard job. <laughs> Grenache, a lot of times people do make a rosé out of, out of it. It has a lot of uh, tropical fruit and floral aromas, just very fruity generally. So when we made our Grenache achromatic, we minimized the exposure to the, the skins as much as we could. So it, it, had, it was either going to be a very light rosé to basically a white wine and it ended up more as a white wine and that's why we called it Grenache achromatic which just means colorless Grenache.